DeepSeek just released one of their most powerful AI models yet, the R1 model. And while most people are just talking about it, smart entrepreneurs are utilizing it to automate entire aspects of their businesses. So today I'm going to show you how to utilize DeepSeek's newest AI breakthrough to create a fully automated blog that generates content, ranks high on search engines, and grows all on its own. And here we are with a little sneak peek of this automation for today. We can see that we are using four very simple steps. There are two AI agents inside of this automation, one that generates a title, the other that generates the article body, and then it has a simple connection into this blog. Yep, that's right. This blog is fully AI generated. We can see this post right here has an AI generated title from DeepSeek. And if we click on it, all the content in here is also AI generated and it writes way better than I ever could, saving me so much time when it comes to creating articles about different topics and videos that I've made in the past. So I'm very, very happy with this automation and I'm excited to show you how to build it out today to save you so much time when it comes to blogging. As a thank you for joining me today, I'm giving away the template entirely for free so that you don't have to start from scratch, including all of my prompts. So make sure you grab it in the description below and use the discount code to get it completely for free. For today's automation, we're going to be using N8N for our workflow builder. So make sure that you have an account, sign up in the description below. And the first thing that we're going to do is press on this plus sign here, open this little sidebar and press on chat message. The way we're going to interact with this automation is by literally typing in a sentence about what we want the article to be about. So that's the way we're going to initiate it. We can go ahead and click out of this. Then what we're going to do is press this plus sign again, and we're going to navigate to AI agent and we've got this AI agent here. Let's go ahead and press on this and we're going to just leave the source for the prompt to connected chat trigger node. Everything here looks great. We go ahead and click out of it and we can see here that in this AI agent node, we have a bit of an error and that's because we have not selected our chat model yet. We can see by this asterisk here that it is required, but I just want to walk us through some of the features of the AI agents on NAN. So the first thing is obviously the chat model. We'll get into this in a second. The second thing is they have access to memory, which allows you to connect to databases. Let's say you have a database of things you want to write about. You can connect to it with Postgres chat memory, Redis chat memory, Motorhead, a lot of different things. You can also connect to other tools. So if you want to utilize that for bigger use cases, that's fine. But let's just select a chat model. And we can see here that we have a lot of selections here. And those of you who have used NAN before, you might notice that DeepSeek and Open Router are new. They just added these. And if you aren't seeing this, you need to update your admin panel. Now, if you are seeing Open Router and DeepSeek, go ahead and skip this section of the video. I'm going to be updating people who don't see this right now on how exactly they can update their NAN to be able to see this since they literally just added this update like a few days ago. So you need to navigate to your admin panel and you can press leave site and you're going to go to manage and then you're going to take a look at the workspace here and the NAN version. Yours should be set to 1.77.2 latest beta or above. So make sure that you select that if you're watching this video recently close to when they've updated it. Press on that and save changes. And it may take a little bit for your workspace to restart. Just give it a couple minutes and you should be set. All right, now we can choose our large language model. As you can see, there is a direct connection to DeepSeek, but unfortunately, DeepSeek has shut down their website and APIs for some people to access. So if you are able to access it at the recording of this video, that's totally fine. We can use Open Router for today's tutorial, but if you can, you could connect to your DeepSeek chat model, literally press on this and paste in the API key, or just follow along with me. Let's use Open Router here. So we're gonna click on Open Router, and we're gonna go ahead and create a new credential and what we're going to do is navigate over to open router so the way we're going to set this up is we're going to go to this drop down menu here we're going to go to key then we're going to create a new key name it whatever you want and then copy that key all right once you've copied that key go ahead and navigate back into your workflow automation and we can see there's this box here for the api key let's go ahead and paste it in and press save and it says connection tested successfully, so it is connected, that API key is valid. Let's go ahead and exit out. And we can see here now that we need to select a model. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this drop down here, and we're gonna type in DeepSeek into the search bar. Now you can select whatever DeepSeek model you want, but for today's video, we're gonna be using the R1 Distill Llama 70B free version. Great, 
So the model is selected, we're connected to Open Router. That means that we're all set in terms of choosing our large language model. So let's go ahead and exit out of this. And we're gonna go back up to this little rectangular AI agent box. And what this step is going to be doing for us is it's going to be the title generating agent. So I'm gonna actually change the name to title agent just so that we're aware of what it does. And we're going to prompt it so that it knows that its job is to generate the title of a blog. So we're gonna press on add option and system message here. We can see that it auto fills with you are a helpful assistant, but I'm actually gonna paste in a custom made prompt that I made that you can replicate. So this is that system message that I'm talking about. It's really simple. It says you are a writer that writes high ranking SEO blog titles. The title should exceed no more than eight words and do not put quotations around the title. For some reason, AI models have a tendency to put quotes around the titles of things, so make sure that you inform it not to do that specific thing. Once you've done that, we should pretty much be set. Make sure that this drop down here says when chat message received, and make sure that the prompt user message says json.chat input. Great, now let's go ahead and test this out. We're gonna go ahead and type in something like a blog about why DeepSeek is great for blog writing. Great, and it output why DeepSeek excels for blog writing. That's a good enough title for me. Now, the next thing that we need to do since we just created the title agent is we need to create the blog body agent. So we're actually going to duplicate this by pressing shift, highlighting just the title agent in the open router chat model, command C, command V, connect them together, and let's go ahead and open up the title agent too, because right now the open router chat model two is already set for us. We don't need to change anything there. Let's focus on this little rectangle. So I'm actually gonna rename this to blog body agent, just so that we're clear on what everything is doing. And the first thing that we need to do is we're gonna change the system message down here to actually be for writing out the blog itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste in this prompt that I already created for us. Now, this is a pretty complicated prompt, not necessarily complicated, but it's long, and I'm not gonna walk you through all of it, but I'll kind of explain to you the architecture of it. Basically, the first part of this is giving the AI agent what its job is, which is to be a professional journalist specializing in AI. And then it's going to give some kind of parameters around how the articles should be structured. So they should explore how businesses can leverage AI effectively. And each post must be unique, not exceeding a thousand words. And they also need to be optimized for search engines to boost visibility for my company, Botterra. Great. Then I added a big section on who exactly they should be catering to, what exactly each blog should be doing doing and how informative they should be. That's all stuff that you can decide for your specific use case. But in summary, your prompt will be pretty much pretty good if you make it very detailed. You tell it what its job is and you tell it how it should be formatting things. And don't be afraid to use AI to create your prompts. I use ChatGPT to help me hone in this one. Now, the last part of this is this important section here that says important format the blog in HTML format. And the other thing we're going to add here is do not output any CSS. So the reason that we have this here is that when we send this information to the blog website that we're using, which is Webflow, it can take HTML formatting to make the formatting rich text. So it makes it look nice and pretty, really easy to read. Instead of it being just a big block of text that no one wants to read, it's not formatted, it has no headings. So that's why we're using HTML here. And the reason we're not using CSS is because the styling is already handled by the website builder. So we don't need any CSS to be generated and it can also confuse the website builder. So make sure that this part is at the end, regardless of what your prompt is, this is required. Perfect. The next thing we need to do is change the source for prompt and in parentheses user message. We're gonna press the drop down here and press define below instead. And then I'm gonna say create or write a blog about colon and we're gonna go so this drop down here, make sure you selected title agent. And we can see here that there's this output here. We can drag this output and drop it into this box so that it knows to write a blog about and then whatever the previous title was that was generated by the previous AI agent. So in this case, it's gonna be write a blog about why DeepSeek excels for blog writing. But if you prompt it to do something else, it will store that information in this JSON.output variable and write a blog about whatever that is. Perfect. So now we're going to go ahead and test this step. We're going to go through the whole thing all over again. So let's go ahead and open it up. 
I'm going to copy the same prompt as before. I'm going to paste it in and I'm going to send that into our flow. Excellent. As we can see, it output in HTML format. All of this is HTML, which is great. We can see there's more HTML down here, which is good. Sometimes it'll output it really awkwardly. Um, it might look a little bit weird, but that's totally fine. Um, it, what we're using today, Webflow, should be able to interpret all this. And if it doesn't, that's okay. Just experiment with prompting. Sometimes the prompts don't work perfectly the first time. So experiment with your prompting. See if you can make sure that it outputs in solid formatting. But it should work most of the time. Pretty much 99.9% .9 of the time, it will output pretty good HTML formatting. So let's go ahead and hide the chat. So now that everything has worked properly, we're going to add in our last node by pressing this plus sign and typing in Webflow. Now let's press on create an item here. And for now, we're not going to touch anything. Just leave it like this. It's okay if it's a little bit red. We're gonna go ahead and set up our website first and then navigate back into this node. Now for today, we're gonna be using Webflow for our blog website today. Now I highly recommend Webflow for anybody that is getting started with their own blog or is looking for a new place to start their blog because I use it for my own agency website and run my own blog on here as well. And they make it really easy to build out your own websites. And they also have a bunch of free templates for you to get started. So use the template in the description below to get started. It's completely for free for you to clone so that you can follow along. And we're gonna go ahead and open up this template. First, we're gonna make this template ready to receive the information that it's getting from NAN. So we're gonna go ahead and get into Webflow first and then we'll head back to NAN here in a second. But we're gonna navigate up to this top left and press on CMS. And the first thing we're gonna do is press select here and just delete all of the blogs that are auto-filled here as placeholders. Just go ahead and press delete delete permanently. We don't need them. We want this to be empty. Perfect. So we can see in CMS collections here, there's two little sections. We're not worried about categories right now. We're going to worry about blog post section today. And we're going to go press on the settings here. And as we can see down here in these collection fields, there's the basic info like the name and the slug, which are required. Then there's the post body, the post summary, and the category. Now to keep things really simple for us today, we're just going to completely ignore the post summary and category. However, if you do want to fill in this information for these custom fields or add your own new fields, you totally can. You can just fill in that information manually once the blog has been generated or you can set up other agents to fill in this information autonomously. Now that our blog website is set up properly, we can go ahead and open back up this Webflow node and press on this dropdown that says select credential, press create new credential. We're gonna deselect legacy and press connect my account. Now it's gonna pop up with this authorization page. Go ahead and select the website that you want your blog to be connected to today. And you can see I have a lot of websites here. So if you have other ones, you're welcome to connect them, to connect them to N8N. But for today, just focus on the blog that we're building out. Now let's authorize this app. Connection successful. Great, let's go back, let's exit out of this. We see that connection is successful. Now our resource is going to be an item, our operation is gonna be create, and we can see here that there's like this little issue. Go ahead and click out and click back in if you're seeing that, and it should reload it so that we can select our site name, which is gonna be DeepSeek AI blog, and then we're gonna to go to the drop down and press on blog posts. Perfect. Now, this last thing that we have here is live. Now, we can select this to automatically have each post generated by this automation public, published live to whoever is looking at our website. So these would be live on the internet as soon as the execution finishes. I'm not a fan of this because I like to read through it to make sure that I approve it before it is published. So select that if you want. Now, let's go into the fields here. Let's press on add field. From the drop down, the first thing we're going to do is the name. And if we recall, the name correlates to the title or the name in the basic info. And we're going to get that name from up here in the left at the drop down. We can select whatever was output by the title agent. And we're going to go ahead and hover over it and drag it into the field value. Perfect. Now we're going to add another field. We're going to select from the drop down. This is going to be for the post body that is in rich text. Let's go up here to the input drop down, go to blog body agent, grab this output, drag it into the field value. Excellent. Great. So now let's go ahead and test this step by pressing on test step. 
and outstanding node has been executed successfully. We can see that the field data that was sent for name was why DeepSeek excels at blog writing and for post body was all of this HTML. Now, what we're going to do is navigate back into our web flow. Let's go into our CMS. Let's refresh it. And we can see here that we have a new blog about why DeepSeek excels at blog writing for AI driven businesses. It's pretty solid and substantial. Obviously it's not that long, but we can add some more um, text to it in the prompt. I limited it to a thousand words, but you can add more if you want. But let's actually look, like, look at what this looks like live in our website. So let's save changes and let's go to the dropdown. Or actually let's go back here and let's press on publish site here in the top right corner. You get a free staging domain from Webflow. You can add your own custom domain if you want, but we're going to publish this to the selected domain for staging. And it's publishing. Let's open this up. And we can see that you have officially created your first AI automated blog using DeepSeek. We have why DeepSeek excels at blog writing. This was AI generated. Now let's press on continue reading. And we have this fully AI generated blog. Now this looks outstanding. It looks really, really, really good. And I honestly am a huge fan of what it was able to do. Now this is just absolutely outstanding. Writes so much better than I would ever be able to. It's formatted nicely. I can already see so many great SEO keywords in here that I wouldn't have even thought of. Talks about DeepSeek's advanced algorithms that understand context, nuance, and subtle hints in queries. It gives information about customization and relevance. This is a really, really good blog. So I want to give you all your round of applause if you've made it this far. Great work. You have created an AI automated blog and make sure that you like, subscribe, comment below the cool things that you do with this automation. If you've published a website using this, let me see it, send it to me. I want to take a look at it and let me know what videos you would like to see next. Thank you all so much for tuning in and I am excited to see you in the next 